and hello everybody, welcome back to another let's play part of Patrick Stubbing. Welcome back to another let's play part of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. This is the lovely Supersonic, and in the last part, we saved Patrick from his dilemma, and now we can play as Patrick. Now, this is just pick it up with X, and you can throw the switch like this. Boink! And you can pick it up again if you want. Press up if you want. Yeah, press B, do his belly attack. Or his giggly attack, if you want. And if you press A and X in the air, the body slam, and that's basically it. You can also throw T keys, if you want, uh, like here. Boink! And one over there as well. And up, there we go. One over here. So, how have you guys been doing? Yeah, that's a, that's a boss stop. Ha! Ah, Wait, let me explain stuff. This is a boss stop, which will us switch between characters. Like so. Now, he's points up again. You can just select um, in two characters in every level, not all three of them. Yeah, we need to have Patrick for this part. That was stupid. We need to have Patrick for this part, so throw this Spotsman up here. And this switch right over there. Oh! And now the gate opens. And we all know this. Just launch something, right on the other end, and launch ourselves. Whee! Something back there as well. There's also a way to get back somewhere around here. I think right there. Thunder, yeah, Thunder Tiki. It's basically your TNT in Crash Bandicoot. It will explode after a short period of time. Which we, you can also throw them, but you gotta be really quick. Just like so, pretty quick. And throw them away. If you go there, you will just end up over there, so that's nothing too much to do. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! What is talking to me? Oh, mighty rock! I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton! Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting! Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Yay, we can work for Mr. Plankton. Yeah, basically what I explained, just for saying, oh, X. And then the cave opens. Patrick with his silly humor. Oh, mighty rock! I, will, I am at your command! Uh, it's funny. Patrick is always funny. So now we can enter the cave with giant rocks spinning us. Those will hurt, just, you know, just don't touch them. They will hurt. Burn. So. Yeah, there's a waterman down there. And there's another sucker around here. Which I, I swear to God could never find when I was younger. But it's so freaking obvious in the end. You can just throw it over here. Get some extra shiny objects. And get this one. And switch you also can do. There's something useful up there. Just a pair of underwear and nothing too special. And uh, you can... You can, you can okay. Yeah, thank you. You can also grab the fruit more than once, so it does those two switches. And it basically you need four of those. Yeah, don't jump in the spikes, spikes hurt. Take out for that pair of underwear. Which is right there. Go over there. Yep. And do we need to eat? No, we eat. It's not necessary, but it's, it's quite nice to have it. So, throw the watermelon up there, pick it up over here, and throw. God, ah, just the last one. I'm gonna ignore the last one. So get some more spikes, and I got impaled by one. It hurts. 
Oh, spiky hurts. Yes, Frantrek, spiky things hurt. So that's why we won't to be in spiky things. Because they impale you and it won't be so nice. Okay. Well, this is pretty much obvious what you have to do. There's one Thunder TP all the way up there. It's gonna hit and then you can you shoot up. Please stop jumping into spikes. Talk to myself, not you. Eh, I can. Can I reach from here? Get me unaware! We I can't. Oh well. Couldn't need to be made. Um you can just launch this up the switch. And then we can pass through. And you can then Ta-da! Sound to confirm it. So yeah, we can Thank you for destroying my food, just to a sign. Die. <laughs> like that helped. Oh well. Nope, over there. Which you now can jump on, double jump over the ledge. And the suck what I was talking about is close to this part. You can throw it up the other foot and jump here. If you turn around, it's right there. I could never find it when I was younger. Never. I only missed one suck and that's the one I was missing. So I pretty know much where the rest is, but for two of them we need um, certain upgrades which you get later. So we are going to get later. I think there's one suck also nearby here. Which we also can get. So let's get some extra shiny objects over there. A little bit too careful with jumping right there. And now we're there. If you can see it, right in between the pillar, go away jellyfish, it's right there, between those pillars. So what you gotta do is pick this food up and throw it in the water. Yeah, it will freeze the water for a certain amount of time, which you have just enough time to pick this one up. And a purple shiny object, which is worth a lot, so better pick that up. So it gets those extra shiny objects on the way. I don't think there's anything interesting else on the water. So get a box while we're at it. Let's make a descent. Okay, before we in seven minutes. Yeah, we've got enough time. And you can also stun robots by belly flopping near them. Well, you have got to do with the big robots. Those are small. So, which we don't want to do. Small or also. But as big ones, you can destroy them pretty easily. You, one aware, belly flop. So you can pick him up and throw him around. It's going to be necessary for that bit over there. So just do your belly flop, pick one up, and throw the switch. I missed. Do. Haha! I'm super Patrick. Wait. Hit the switch. Thank you. And now we get another golden back scratcher, as we like to call it. And we got Patrick's animation of a spatula. We got a spatula! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Turn around, and there's one robot over there. Die! Missed. Die! Boink! And now we can move on to the next sector Jellyfish Lake. I believe they are. Four sectors in this level, and this is the third one, so we're close to the end. Oh, hi there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs, I'll see what I can do. He hid them in their poop decks. <laughs> Funny. And if you can talk also with different characters, you get mostly short thing of dialogue. And we got a new enemy over here. Which is the Tartar Sauce Squirting Monster. Cause this Yeah, pictures. Yeah. Which is not so good. And this one goes doesn't go down that is the need to it. So just have for the tartar sauce, one hit, and two hits. Two hits. Then he's dead. So anything interesting for us over here. Funny thing is you go on the grass and sand. We walk around. 
and then the giant hand come and will pick you away. This will also happen if you go into... Yeah, everything will reset. So the enemy will be there. And mom still would still be there. Yep, there we go again. And this also happens when you fall on a pit. Or and jump down a cliff. I don't know. So, so no, nothing there. Most of the time you can check if there's something useful up there. But this time there wasn't... Here's here. So let's just destroy those two. Predator can also swim, so don't do that. And you don't get any water infested levels with Sandy, so that's also good. And there's Mrs. Puff! Yay! It's a girl favorite driving his truck. Yeah. Okay, we can also destroy these enemies. Gotta time it right though. Now. And let's put you here over there. Oh, that works too. But that wasn't my first intention. It's gonna be over there. And destroy this one. And um, nope, there's something back there. So let's talk to Miss Puff. Hi, Miss Puff. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh boy! I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show it up, Mrs. Puff! Hey, Miss Puff, because find us a job. We basically what you gotta do is destroy those fountains over there. So throw it over there. And you gotta repeat that five times. Ooh, yeah, five times. Boink. Pick you up. Whee! And you almost got 3,000 of them. Which I think we have enough to buy something from Mr. Krabs. I'm going to do it in the end and not in the beginning. So, and destroy the final one. Which will lower the water. And gives access to our golden spatula. See a rope back there, so I might destroy him before he kicks my ass. Thank you. Let's get Grapple's golden spatula. Yay! That is number nine or eight. Can't really tell from here. I think it's eight. Yeah, yeah it's number eight. It's hard to see with all the light and stuff. Um, nothing back there. Shortcut over there. Um, for Ian, 13 minutes. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No. Oh, no cookie for Patrick. Why, Mr. Puff? Okay, for the next part we need SpongeBob. So, switch over and hi, Mrs. Puff. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Pop. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. Yeah, you can also talk to Miss Krabs over there if you want to, but I'll say something. I need Patrick for that one. A sticky. Yep, if you walk to it, walk up to it, it'll disappear. But if you slightly move forward the control seek, you will sneak and can destroy them. Basically the same with every one of them. It's also, there can also be quite some goodies up there. So I don't want to launch me too deep. Shoot. Well, I think we can still get it from here. Just go on top of them, one of them. Don't move too quick. Do this and launch yourself down and like that. This could be an awesome combo. Just stand over there. Jump! Bam! Super monster combo! And launch himself. Same no way. But if you manage to make him hit into the water, it will also destroy him. So that's also nice. So let's just move on forward. For favorite sponge. Sponge geese. I think we also need some, some cash near here. I could be mistaken. I think I'm mistaken. So let's destroy him. You can also move away and reappear again. 
and I blew up the Tartar sauce guy with him as well. That's for him. Him. It's another one of those guys. Ouch! Stupid man. I hate you. Yeah, and this is where we need to use the cruise bubble. Which is basically a uh, rocket which you can launch. Yeah, we need to do it with then. And we also have the bubble ball, which we also can get later. And there's a suck up there if you didn't notice. Let me slightly... Oops. Wrong way. Slightly up there. Yeah, it's right there. Right up there. There's a suck. And so far we in 50 minutes. I think I'll just stop over here. First let's start, start with stickies. Oh, but it's checkpoint. That's a good point to stop right there. So, let's come in just... Oh my god, there's a purple thing up there! Oh, we are going to get that, you ask? Well, we are going to do it in the next part. So, in the next part, we are going to... Mm, going to do that, so... Whoops. This is your love to Supersonic, signing off. See you then, and see you at the next part.